What's up guys? Today I'm in the 2018 Alpina B7. My friend Sean, who got the car about three weeks ago, was nice enough to lend me the car for the day so I could check it out and show you guys any of the quirks or Easter eggs and all the amazing new technology that's in this car. So let's go check it out. All right, here she is, the 2018 Alpina B7. This is finished in Java green. Now this is an individual color offered by BMW, which is a cost option. And there were only three made in the world. And uh, we've got one of them right here. So you can see in the sun right now. It's got a lot of gold and green metal flake in it. it looks very, very nice. This is definitely the perfect day to shoot it. Now the B7 is based on the regular 7 series, the 740i, 750i. But this actually has the 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 that's in the regular 750 and even the M5 and several other BMW models. But thanks to Alpina's tuning program, which is they actually work directly with BMW to take certain models and change them, turn them into complete monsters. So they change the wheels, body kits, uh, they offer certain colors, they change a lot of the interior, and you know, they also do things to the exhaust and of course the engine software. So this car produces 600 horsepower, 590 pound-feet of torque. Now this is a big girl. She weighs 4,800 plus pounds. But thanks to the amazing X-Drive all-wheel drive system and the 600 horsepower and all that torque that's all routed through an 8-speed ZF automatic transmission, it rockets to 60 miles an hour in just 3.6 seconds all the way to a top speed of 193 miles an hour. As you can see, this is a big car. But when I drove it, honestly, it didn't feel like it's, it's as big as it is. And that's mostly thanks to that very clever rear wheel steering that it has, as well as the clever suspension and many other components that just make this car as sporty as possible, while also being able to remain as luxurious as possible. So to the average person, this would look just like a regular 7 Series. It's a crazy color, and maybe that's it. But to someone who knows what the Alpina is and how special they are, they would obviously recognize the B7 badging here, along with the Alpina lettering here. That quad exhaust with the new body color diffuser. A lot of chrome bright work. Along with those forged 21 inch Alpina wheels with the iconic blue brake calipers. We've got more chrome bright work down here, all along the doors. And as you can see, this is the long wheelbase variant, which the B7 only comes in, at least in North America. You can see the rear doors are much longer than the front doors. Cars like the Audi S8, which are only short wheelbase, come from the their A8 variants, which are available in long wheelbase or short wheelbase, but BMW and Mercedes decided to keep their more high-end versions long wheelbase as standard, at least in North America. So some of the cool things on the B7, and actually the regular 7 Series too, is it has these active shutters here on the grill. I don't know if you can see that. So right now they're open and the fans are on because I just had the engine running. So they're staying open with the fans on until the engine gets to the proper temperature, and then they'll close. And it does that when the car is driving too. So that's basically to improve fuel efficiency, whether it's a small amount, but every, every little bit counts with a car like this, and also improves aerodynamics. So it keeps the air from just going in the car and slowing it down, creating drag, and going smoothly over the hood or around the bumper. See the uh, B7 badging here, right on the B pillar. It's got a nice, big, full panoramic roof. Got a body color trunk spoiler. And one of the cool features this car has is fully adaptive LED headlights, which are not like the crazy laser lights that you get in the European 7 Series. So you got here a BMW adaptive LED, full LED units, no projectors. There looks like a reflector or something, some kind of thing with a mirror. Well, uh, we'll go turn those on right now with the hazard lights. So you guys can check them out. Nice to do the ignition. And put the hazard lights on. Alright, so here you can see 
the turn signals are like kind of like an eyebrow shape above the main projectors or high beam and low beam. And it's this very cool pattern that goes across here. So you have the LED halos and the actual high beam and low beam are inside here. You can see it lighting up from the top as well. You have indicators in the mirrors, nice and bright. You see the camera there for the side view, it's part of the uh, parking assist system. For the back, taillights are fully LED as well. Turn signals, reverse lights, brake lights, and the emergency braking lights that are more kind of in the middle. They're hard braking. Very bright. And you got the third brake light mounted up there on the top of the rear window. All right, now let's open up the hood and get a look at that twin turbo V8. So with all BMW models, it has a uh, double hood latch system, so you have to pull twice. Now the hood is unlatched. So there's no uh, handle to pull up on, you just pull it right up and it opens. And you can see that Alpina badge, 4.4 liter twin turbo V8. Has the Alpina crest there. The Alpina letters there and the different patterns that go from the V8 badging down here. And as you can see, this is a BMW individual color, Java Green Metallic, Java Green. And that same pattern is kind of reflected up here in the top. And the uh, sound ending here for the hood. Alright, so let's close it down. Get a look at the trunk. It's quite a long walk to the back of the car. Gotta love the way that this Java Green shines in the sun. Alright, so similar to other modern luxury limousines, the A8, the S Class, the Java Green GL, you have a kick or swipe function to open up the trunk whenever both your hands are full or arms are full. So you just swipe your foot, put the key in your pocket, and it opens up. Plenty of trunk space in here. Got the mats for the car that are in the matching white. Lots of trunk space. And being that this car doesn't have the rear refrigerator option, you don't lose a third of the trunk, similar to in the S-Class. So to close the trunk, you just kick your foot again underneath, and it closes, like so. so you can see the rear speakers of the uh, Bowers & Wilkins premium audio system through the rear shade. Once again, let's take a look at that Java Green. It looks absolutely spectacular. Alright, it is extremely hot out today. So let's jump inside, start up the car. Check out some of the amazing technology this car has to offer. Got a full digital gauge cluster, welcomes you when you come in. It says Alpina B7 by Turbo right there. And that's fully, well not reconfigurable, but it changes dramatically depending on what mode you're in and all that. So we got the start button over here. Start. Let's close her up. All right, so the first thing I noticed while sitting here in the Alpina B7 is just how incredibly quiet it is. It's honestly comparable to the Mercedes Maybach S600 or even the Bentley Mulsanne that I drove yesterday. The fit and finish is really second to none. Gotta love that German craftsmanship. Especially with this black full leather over the white leather here with all the uh, contrast stitching, piano black wood accents, all the aluminum, different metal accents here. All the buttons are metal. You have these two LCD screens here. You have the large touch screen, infotainment screen here. BMW iDrive. Your control knobs or your auto hold, electronic park and brake, the lifter for the car, surround view cameras, parking sensors, all your uh, traction control, driving settings. You have sport, which I've been in the majority of the time, comfort, eco pro, and adaptive, which basically lets the car choose for itself what mode it wants to uh, you know, go into depending on the situation. Decent size center console, some charging ports. Nice contrast stitching that wraps all the way around the back here. 
large glove box with nothing short of what you expect in a large limousine like this. You have this piano black wood trim that goes around basically the entire car. So it wraps around there with the ambient lighting. Goes all the way around, down the back doors. Now there's honestly way too much technology to cover in one video without it being an hour long. So I'll just break down some of the uh, more cool and interesting features. For instance, you've got the full color heads up display that has speed limit recognition. Right now we're in this park and the speed limit's 15 miles an hour. You've got the optional and very, very much worth it Bowers and Wilkins sound system, which we'll listen to in a second. And you've got the, uh, the tweeters over here that actually have ambient lighting in them and have like a hurricane shape and we'll, uh, we'll go to somewhere like a parking garage and can show you all the ambient lighting. Got all the nice mood lighting up here, as well as more speakers in the back. You got the Bowers and Wilkins speakers in the doors over here. You got all your controls for your memory seating, sun shades, power window controls, your headlight controls, and this car actually has night vision, which we'll check out in a bit too. You got all your controls for adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist. This car has auto steering, self steering, so it'll read the lane markings by itself using the cameras up here, the stereo cameras. And this vehicle actually has a gesture control, which has been around in BMW for a few years now, but they're refining it more and more every year. Right now the car is in sport mode, which actually stiffens the suspension, uh, tightens up the throttle response, actually closes in the bolsters on the seats so you don't move around as much under uh, enthusiastic driving. All right, so you got the controls down here. So right now I'll put it into comfort, which completely changes it, actually quieted the exhaust up. Then we got Eco Pro, which is pretty cool. Shows your charge and everything. We got Adaptive, which just puts it into the mode that it thinks it should be in for the situation. And my favorite, Sport Mode, which just open the exhaust baffles. We'll get an exhaust clip in a second on the outside. And similar to a lot of cars other than just BMWs, you have this very advanced 360 camera system. So you hit that down there. It brings up the camera, so right now you have the rear view. Let's see if we put it into reverse. It brings up the full 360 camera, top down view. Puts the mirrors down so you can see. So right now, let's see how it goes here. And it gives you a basically real time 360 degree view of the car. So you can move the cameras around. Very cool. And you can see the wheels turning. It shows the uh, guidance lines there. Very, very cool. You can skip to other parts of the car. Definitely a helpful feature. So some of the very cool touches that are in this car. So to control the AC, you have the obviously the uh, little scroll wheel here, but then you have this little digital screen. It is touch sensitive and you can bring the temperature wherever you want. You have the hazard lights, the central locking, and this is also the center for the gesture controls also over here. You have these two screens over here, so you have cold seats. You have your perfume atomizer. Ionization. You can actually already smell it coming through. It smells very nice. We'll turn that off. We don't want to use all of Sean's uh, perfume atomizer there. So the perfume cartridge just in the car right now, I believe is the green suite. He's actually got another one here, the blue suite, number one. It smells very good. You have the little tab here so the car knows to connect it. It can start extracting the uh, perfume scent from it. We'll leave that over there. All right, now let's go check out the back seat because there are way more toys in the back than in the front. All right, we'll come around to the passenger side so we have a little bit more room. And right away, you can see these massive rear doors open up all the way. So if you're parked next to another car, you're definitely not gonna have that much room to get out. But, you know, one thing I love is the door sills here that light up in Alpina. 
you know, this uh, piece that separates here, it actually lights up, similar to what's in a limousine. He has the B7 here, you can turn it off. You've got that amazing quilted and stitched perforated leather with this nice braided piping here. It's a very nice touch all the way down here. All right, so let's take a step into the back seat. Soft closed door. And uh, right away you notice the amount of legroom is really staggering. My headroom is great. Probably got about four or five inches of headroom. Got all the shades closed. And you've got these tablets back here. I'll turn on in a second. And it's all part of the uh, rear entertainment system. So you have the VIP executive seating, the tablets, the little tablet comes out here. The entire headliner is wrapped in this nice white Alcantara, which I would hate to get dirty, so I'm not gonna touch it. You have the grab handles here, which is the, it has the uh, piano black wood. Some LED lighting. Got a reading lamp there that turns on both of them. You start to see some of the ambient lighting back here. Well, we'll go to a parking garage so you can see that better. All right, so we'll turn on the screen here. It's not touch screen. I believe we have to use this tablet here, so we'll turn that on. And press this button, brings it out. Pretty much car handing it to you. So you've got apps here, pretty much, uh, it's very, very responsive, just like an iPhone. So we'll go to settings, actually let's do seats. So this allows you to save seat positions, pretty much do everything you'd expect. All right, so we got uh, climate function, seats, actually go back, sun protection. So this is basically, controls all the car's shades in real time. So right now we'll do the passenger shade. We can do, let's see, we'll do the, this side. We can do the front shade, rear shade. And the back shade right here, which is very cool. Rear blind. And if you're feeling really lazy and you don't want to close them all individually, you get this close all button. And just like that. The same thing with opening. So you open them all. You can actually play with all the uh, ambient lighting settings here. We're gonna go find a parking garage so we can uh, show you guys that. For now, we'll uh, put it back and it locks itself in. Turn it off. There we go. Here we've got a uh, reasonably sized uh, center console. Some more storage back here. I think a pass-through to the trunk is there. That's pretty nice. All right, so from here, we can actually control the front seat. So if you want even more legroom, you move it up. Move it forward if we want to. You can control the headrest for some reason. And you get all your shade controls over here if you don't want to use the uh, tablet. So you get that. Instantly gets very bright in here. So we're gonna uh, close all those. And uh, we'll move the seat back. So I hit that. Even with the front seat all the way back, I still have plenty of room. Gotta love a long wheelbase car. You got little headphone jacks down there, cigarette lighters. Your uh, two zone climate controls. We've got vanity mirrors here. All right, now I'm going to go find a parking garage so I can show you guys all the ambient lighting in this car. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to give you my take on what it's like to drive. So, another cool thing with this car is while it's not a lot, some of the core 
of this car, or the chassis, is actually made up of a mix of carbon fiber and aluminum. So BMW called it the carbon core. And it's really only a small amount, but nonetheless, it's pretty cool. And it helps somewhat lighten up this already very heavy car. All right, so now we're gonna go for a little drive. going to take the B7 out for a little drive and uh, get a take on what it's like to drive a large and powerful car like this one. So right now I've got it in a comfort mode. Right off the bat it's amazingly nice to drive. The steering is nice and light but I can still feel where the front wheels are going. Uh, the air suspension is very adaptive so it's adjusting to every undulation in the road. The rebound and the air struts are nice. No, no harshness. Rides exactly like you'd expect a luxury limousine to ride. You've got the cooled seats on, and even got the uh, sunroof open here, but because there's a tint to it, or like a uh, UV coating, the sun is not penetrating, but I'm still able to enjoy the, uh, the sunlight coming through. All right, so now we're gonna drop it to sport mode. And right away, I could feel the air suspension stiffen up. The steering got a little bit tighter. Not dramatically, but enough that I can, you know, have better control of the car. And the bolsters actually tightened up. So they're not active like in uh, most Mercedes models, where the slightest turn or even uh, dip you go over, they uh, will basically inflate to keep your body from moving. These don't do that, but they do inflate somewhat, especially when you're changing the mode, so that's still nice. Yeah, this is just an honestly very pleasant car to drive, similar to my S550. This makes a lot more power though, and uh, with that TF8 speed, the shifts are very snappy. They're almost undetectable. You really can't tell when the car is shifting. And I've got the bright, full color heads up display in front of me, the digital gauge cluster that has actually the physical rings. So it's not a full screen like some cars, like Audi and Mercedes, but um, it's, it's still nice. It gives you a, you know, it's a classic look, but at the same time, it's modern with all the latest technology. All right, so I got it in sport mode. And these aren't the, really the curviest and twistiest roads. We are in South Florida, but for what it's worth, the car does handle nicely. You could confidently throw it into a turn knowing that it'll be able to handle itself. Uh, you can really feel the rear wheel steering at work, especially when you're past a certain speed where the wheels actually start to move in the same direction as the front wheels. It gives you a handling on rails feeling. We'll go somewhere where we can do a little bit of a, not a launch, but you know, some decent acceleration. So we'll turn around here. Very tight U-turns thanks to that rear wheel steering. And uh, jump on here. So thanks to that 600 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque and the X-Drive all-wheel drive system, whether it's wet or dry out, you're gonna launch every time perfectly, 100% grip. Definitely has a lot of torque, but it does weigh almost 5,000 pounds. And it's honestly very, very fast. I've driven everything from tuned M5s, fully built M4s, and this does not feel far behind from those. It really doesn't. And the fact that it's so big, and you could just throw it around and really drive it you know like how it probably wants to be driven it is an alpina so it's purebred you know through and through is it is designed to be a large sport saloon and uh, it does that very well so when it comes to getting on the highway it's got all the merging power in the world and i actually love the way that with the blind spot monitoring triangles the uh they fade on and off as opposed to just turning on and off like flashing on and off it's pretty cool and I've got the active lane keeping assist on right now. And you don't actually have to have adaptive cruise control on to uh, use it. Every once in a while it'll ask me to touch the steering wheel. You literally just touch it and it feels your fingers. And that's it. It just keeps keeping the lane. All right, looks like we found a decent parking garage. You can see that ambient lighting starting to turn on. So we'll go find somewhere nice and dark to park. Now one place that rear wheel steering really comes in handy is in a parking garage like this. 
You can see the uh, the full LED adaptive headlights on now. All right now that we found a uh, nice dark parking garage, we can show you guys the incredible ambient lighting in the 2018 Alpina B7. All right, so first we got lighting here. Let's see interior lighting, and there's all different kinds of colors. So we'll go to color. We can do green with green contour. So the uh, double colors here green with white contour, lilac, so double purple, lilac with the white, and you can go up to bronze or uh, you know orange red color, just orange, which is basically red, bronze with white, orange with white, blue, which looks very nice, you got blue with white, I'll leave it on all blue for now. And one of my favorite parts about this car is when you open both sunshades and the sunroof. Let's see here. You get these amazing embedded LEDs, or not embedded so much in the glass, but at the edges here, you have a LED bar that's going across and it spreads the light across this pattern here. So I don't know if you guys can see that. In the rear as well we'll get a better uh, better view of that you can really see it here and the lighting in this car is just incredible especially you know, change the gauges we put it in sport mode and for the optional Bowers and Wilkins system you can't change the color but you can do this uh, you could choose to have on or off this amazing like hurricane hurricane uh, emblem or symbol and of course the speakers light up down here you can see over there as well. Got all the blue mood lighting. Wraps around the dashboard, underneath, and the door panels, all the door pockets here. Pretty much everywhere. We'll go in the back seat in a second. All right, so now we're gonna step into the back. Check out the ambient lighting. Just like that, the noisy parking garage just seems to go away. You can really see the lighting from over here. Everything is very nice. These you can kind of make brighter. All right, so we're here in the back of the Alpina B7, we're in this parking garage, so we can show you guys all the ambient lighting. And it honestly feels like a spaceship back here. So we'll uh, get that tablet on to see what some of the lighting has to offer. All right. So go to interior lighting. You could basically uh, control everything. So we'll do green. Changes the whole car. Do purple. Just lots of customizability here. And we got the screens here. Just a really awesome place to be. You got the seat controls. Love the way this lights up here and says B7, just like in a limousine. You got the shades, got all your lighting, very bright. Vanity meters. All right, guys, well, that should do it for this review of the 2018 Alpina B7. Once again, thank you to my friend Sean for lending me the car for the day. Uh, it was awesome to get to drive it and experience it and uh, go through all the technology and really just check out what this car has to offer. I'll see you next time, guys.